Welcome back, True Believers. This is Rektar, and today I'm going to be playing some more Tokyo Jungle. As you can see, the winning animal was Homo erectus. Um, Homo erectus, just out of curiosity, I went and looked it up because I wanted to learn a little bit. Look at it, by the way, when he sneaks. Homo erectus is probably, um, one of the earliest, uh, known, like, it's, it's debated on, but basically, whoa, there's a beagle right there. Well, dude, I'm going to kill him. Oh crap, it's too late! So yeah, Homo erectus is just, like I said, I looked it up because I was a little bit curious. It's basically one of the, um, earliest generally agreed upon ancestors of the, um, Homo line, the hominid line, which is what is agreed upon as kind of what began the move towards humans a couple million years ago. I just thought I would mention that, but let's look at my challenges. Defeat 15 animals, well I already did two. And take 3,000 calories and head for the Shibuya Shop District. So I guess marking isn't really something I have to do, but I will do it anyway. But anyways, yeah, y'all voted. And by the way, the votes for this video were outstandingly large in number. And I feel like part of the reason for that was probably because there was animals. Oh, what the? What? How did that not go? Whatever. At least I got him now. But yeah, there was an outstandingly large number of votes for um, this, and I, th I feel like the reason for that was probably because um, it's new animals. Like, it's brand new animals that you've never seen before. I personally- Oh, what the fuck? How did I- Probably because I was standing in water. Holy shit! Homo erectus, you have one hell of a large amount of stamina. There we go. Like, seriously, look at this thing go. Holy fuck. But yeah, I feel like part of the reason that um, this was possibly so popular was just because there were so many uh, new, brand spanking new animals to vote on. And that honestly, like I said, is part of the reason why I was excited um, to do this was just because there was such a large amount of animals that I had just never played before that we had never seen, and there's many more to come. But of course I will still be playing as animals that I have played as before because there's many animals that were already in the game that I never even played as. By the way, if you notice that one of the animals that got unlocked in the DLC was, um, Robot Dog. And I don't think I'll be including that Robot Dog in any of the votes until after I've unlocked, um... I don't know why I'm marking, because I'm actually not gonna... I'm actually not gonna mate here. I need the food more than I need the mate right now. Oh, whoa, it's... There we go. So yeah, I'm actually gonna go for that food instead. But yeah, um, was a, there was a Robot Dog in the bundle. And I think I'm gonna leave the robot dog out of the, um, out of the mesh just because I want to wait till I unlock the actual robot dogs in the game. Dude, I wanted to get these birds because I want to get my 15 animals and my, and my kill. Let's get in this grass and hopefully, let's see what we got. I wonder if, like, I wonder in terms of, um, predators how big of animals I can expect to not be afraid of this and how big of animals I can expect to be afraid of, um, Homo erectus. But as you can see, I just tested something that I kind of wanted to test with this, is can it get on top of buildings? And of course it can, like, this animal is probably not too big on the class. And actually, now that I'm playing as Homo erectus, I think I'm pretty excited to try the office worker. Oh my gosh, these, these little birds are getting away, and they're gonna count towards my, um, my total animal count, which is something that I need, I need to rank up and I need to eat, or I need to kill 15 animals. As, but yeah, basically, I was kind of like, thinking of, uh, this thing is like, um, a Neanderthal, but I think it doesn't fall in the same time period as Neanderthal, but yeah, as you can see, it's very close to like, walking on its feet and, uh, it likes to switch around between, yep, here, wait, go. Oh, whatever. But yeah, as you can see, it ducks down a lot. It's very combination of monkey-like and human-like. Oh, what do we have here? Golden Retriever. I like that this one is a meat eater and that the, um, the modern office worker is, um, an herbivore. And sadly, this game has no room for, like, omnivores and stuff because that would be... I think more accurate, but then I was thinking about it, I was like, well, I think the reason that they probably decided to go with, um, the, probably the reason that they decided to go with calling 
the office worker an herbivore was because if a human were in a Tokyo jungle-esque situation and um, like were in this world, I was thinking about it and I was like, oh crap, that's a hyena. Well, whatever, we'll kill it. I was like, he would have to, to cook the meat to eat it, and if he's trying to eat really fast, or whatever, you know, he couldn't cook the meat because of whatever, you know what I mean? Like, humans don't have bellies that can process raw meat very well. And so it crossed my mind, I was like, I guess it does make sense that um, the humans do not appear as... Uh, as meat eaters because they would probably have trouble processing the raw meat in their tender bellies. But then of course the this guy, Homo erectus, he doesn't need to process the meat as well. He's old school. He doesn't he doesn't need that shit. But anyways Oh dude, that just made me think about something um really interesting is that there's probably since there's um there's probably, like, a female model for the human office worker. I think that's interesting and funny, and I'm hungry. Holy shit. I spent too much time wandering around on the tops of those buildings. But I was hoping to find more food up there. Alright. Oh, and all we have over here is a Silky Terrier. See, that's one of the things, um... Silky Terrier was unlocked in the, uh... In the DLC, and I thought that was interesting that Silky Terrier doesn't just come in the game. Things that are probably not going to get voted on very soon will probably be, um, the, like, black and white Pomeranians. Because I was like, eh, they're kind of, I mean, if you look at them, their stats are actually different than, um, their stats are somewhat different than the stats of, um, the Pomeranian that you start with. But it's like, it's not so much different that I felt that it really kind of, I don't know, justified having a vote category for them in the near future, so... I was like, yeah, I can leave the Pomeranians out of the vote. Oh, get the- I want the bird! I want the bird. Because I'm trying to get the calories up right now, but obviously, the bird's not exactly the best thing to be going for if you're going for that calorie count. Oh, but luckily, I can get a ton of birds because they're now going to start attacking me. <laughs> That's awesome, actually. Maybe I can get the calorie count from the birds. Shit. Alright. Dude, that's gotta be enough calories now, right? Seriously? Dude. Birds. I thought you were supposed to be attacking me, birds. Alright, whatever. I gotta go for... I gotta go something for more caloric in content if I want to get that 3,000 calorie marker before I hit however many years right now. I'm surprised I haven't found more food, but... I guess, I mean, how do you know when you're- oh, look at there's some little chicklets up there. They have some calories. Probably not a whole shit ton of calories, but... They might have what I need. How many more do I need? I can just check on the challenge list. 411, alright. I think the chicklets might have... 411 more calories for me. Alright, chicklets. Oh, can I- there we go. Oh, it didn't work! Ugh, eat it! Alright, we gotta get that other chicklet. Get the other chicklet, me in! Alright, sorry chick. Hopefully you give me what I need to hit my next challenge. Holy shit! I've killed like everything in this zone. I obviously haven't been moving fast enough because I need- I have not leveled up yet. This is bad if I don't complete the lowest rank challenges. Man, maybe I should be going for birds and shit right now. Holy fuck! Alright, I might actually go for a few more- oh, there's something. Oh, there's tons of stuff over here. Alright, good. I just gotta make sure I don't scare it away if it's- so, oh, it's a cat. I bet a cat. Yep. Cool. The cat probably wants to battle me. That's perfect. This has got to be the as the end of my... Come on. Is that not it? Oh, that's not it. All right. We got to kill these gentle wood beasts. Dude, I don't know if this thing would be as fast as a sick -a deer but there we go. All right, I got all my challenges. I was actually a little bit worried there for a second that I wasn't going to get all my challenges. Alright, now I can start heading towards my next area. Shibuya- oh! I'm already here! Alright, cool, and mark seven times, so... I guess I should... You know what I could do? Is I could cut around in the sewers, and get all my marks in the sewers, and just wait to get the first three marks. I don't know. 
I'm trying to think of how to do this all. Oh. By the way, I've never been able to show that. So, you see what the porcupine's doing right now? Is, um, crap. I just scared, like, everything around here. Is, if you attack the porcupines when they're alerted and they're doing that thing where they're, um, going back and forth between, um, like, tail up and tail down. If you attack them when their tail's up, I think they do damage to you, but I'm not 100% sure. Holy shit! There are lots of wood beasts around here! I'm gonna kill all of them! I mean, I can't get clean kills on them anyway, because they're all running from me like motherfuckers. Alright, I'm gonna go for that porcupine. Although, I'm not 100% sure about the thing I just said about the porcupine. Somebody said that in the comments once, but I've never actually attacked the porcupine when their, like, tail is up like that, so... I don't actually know. Dude, holy shit, this animal, like, wrecks, um... It wrecks stuff. I didn't realize its attack was so high, because... In the, uh... In its stats, they looked pretty average, but it seems as though it actually has some pretty awesome stats because it just wrecks stuff like old school. All right, and it's pretty fast. It's a uh, it's fast. What I appreciate, I think, the most about it is its um this its stamina meter is freaking huge. I'm actually oh crap! Everything here is a plant eater. I'm fucking up old school right now. All right. Oh, there we go. Got the clean kill like a boss. Dude, sometimes in the game you hear like these weird like automated robotic noises and I don't know what they're coming from. Oh crap, I just like alerted everything out here. This is bad. But at least I've already got the head for Shibuya Suburbs goal since all I had to do was go here. Since I was here already. Alright, here we go. Okay. It's almost nighttime. That'll make it easier for me to sneak up on these... Animals. Oh, look, okay. See, look at the- okay. I think if I attack the porcupines while they're doing that, they will fuck me up, but... It's one of those things where, like, I don't want to experiment, because, like, if I do experiment and I fuck it up, then I take damage and I don't want to do that. Oh, come on. Dude, holy shit, the porcupines can take a ton of hits compared to the rabbits. And now I'm boss rank, so... This is probably going to be the area I want to mate in. Plus, I'm almost up to 15 years. And as you know, once you're up, once you're up to 15 years in this game, dude, everything around here is a, um, oh, and that cat just woke up. I was like, oh, I got an easy clean kill on here, on Dare Cat. Dude, I'm about to alert every cat in the area to my presence. I'll have to use my sweet homo erectus prowess to, oh, oh, there's like wolves. There's like so much shit out here. Oh, luckily they're going after- some of them are going after the cats, so... It's not too bad. Alright, we got Fat Cat. Oh, I- there's still a wolf. Holy shit. Thought I killed you. Alright. I guess- oh man. It's time to start worrying about mating and less about eating. Since, um... I'm approaching the 15 year mark. And as you know in this game, or as I've said, if you didn't know... Once you approach the 15 year mark, your, your stats your stats start to be less, like, good. So, like, you'll take damage faster, you'll lose hunger more quickly. Come on. I can't- okay. I couldn't tell if the rabbit- if I had a red, um, thing on the rabbit just because of the weird angle I was at. Alright, I don't even care about fucking killing the- okay. Oh, man! The rabbits, like, see me in the dark so easily. Okay, here we go. Clean Killville. There we go, because they're distracted. Dude, I'm gonna get the four clean kills easily as long as these cats are just giving it to me. Alright, here we go. Oh, nope, that's a rabbit. Okay. We can actually get the goat! The goat's too stupid to see me right in front of him, sucka. Alright, that's my fourth clean kill. Which is cool, because now I can focus more on the fact that I need to mate. But I do need to be careful and not, like, pull a bunch of, like, wolves or something crazy right now. Like, oh, like this. Oh, crap. Yeah, like I just did. Holy shit. I might not be able to win this fight. Even though, holy shit. Dude, I seem to be a beast of a beast in terms of fighting. Holy shit. So many wolves right now. I don't even know if this is a fight worth doing. I'm, like, destroying this wolf pack, though. Oh, my gosh. This is bad. All right. 
Holy shit, so many wolves! Alright. Using that medicine, and I'm just getting the fuck out of here. Oh crap, am I getting the fuck out of here? This is I don't want to die, like, right away right now. This would be so bad if I died this quickly off the bat. Oh, why am I... Mm. I'm never gonna lose these wolves at this rate. There's so many of them. And I'm probably just, like, gonna end up pulling more. Please be, like, rabbits or something. Nope, it's more wolves. Great. This is bad. This is so bad. But I run faster than the wolves, so... And life is decreasing due to hunger. Crap. Alright. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> and now my stats are gonna start decreasing due to, um... Due to time. Shit. Yep, stats are decreasing due to old age. Wolves right in front of me. Dude, this is getting pretty dicey right now. And you look- yeah, now I don't run as quickly because of old age. Oh, please don't be wolves. It's not. It's things the wolves can actually kill, which is... a plus. Dude, I will never lose these fucking wolves at this rate. Oh. Fuck. And now I've got a fucking bear on me. Dude, this is so bad. This is just so fucking bad right now. Oh, I'm hungry. Alright, these are rabbits back here, I think. Yep. Alright, eat the rabbit. Holy shit, this is getting... This is like the diciest shit ever right now, and my stats are decreasing due to old age. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is an exciting episode, huh? I'm not even like... Oh, this is so bad. I have played and played so badly. The problem is my hunger won't go up unless my danger meter goes down. Yes! Like that. Alright, that's a wolf. Oh, crap. Oh, did I just... Get this fucking cat on me? Get over here, cat. Or fight the wolves. Yes! Oh, that is perfect. Alright, because I still need to mark... I still need to mate, like, really badly right now. Like, mating is my number one priority. What other challenges am I not... Mark seven times. Well, that's not gonna fucking happen now. Unless I can just do, like, a mad dash through the sewers, but... As you can see, mad dashing never gets you very far in this game. Mad dashing... Oh, fuck. Alright, they're fighting amongst themselves. So we'll just stay... up to the north. And get these animals... Oh, dude, this is so perfect for all these animals to be fighting each other right now. Alright, there we go. Do a little mark. Please, continue battling. Oh. Alright, um... I learned a lesson, though, last time, and I can't sleep right now because of the time of day that it is. Fuck. Huh. So... If you can sleep, you can get mates to appear if they're not showing on the map, but... Because it's daytime, I don't know if I can do that. Crap, I really need a mate, though. Like, badly. Man, that whole wolf sit scenario did not bode well for me. If I could just get to a bed and sleep... But you can't sleep... Can... Mate, I think you can sleep during the day, what am I saying? You can definitely sleep during the day. I'm being a fucking retard. I'm being an idiot. I don't want to misuse that word. I'm being a fucking idiot! So yeah, you can... I was very wrong. You can totally sleep during the day. Don't listen to me saying you can't sleep during the day. Because you absolutely can. Alright, fat cat, I gotta eat you. Oh, but that pulled another fat cat. Oh, or just a normal cat. Who knows? Alright, eat the cats. Oh, dude, this is like... This is like pretty dicey for the first section of a game for me. Oh, don't call more cats. I'm doing so badly already, game. Do not call more cats. Alright, um, where's the nest? So hopefully, if I sleep, I can make more mates appear. That is the goal. Let's find out. Mmm, nope. Anyways, the reason that sleeping does ever help is because, um... There's actually a reason for that. Oh, but I can't sleep again immediately. Is just because it'll make... If, if the mates have been killed, it'll respawn new mates. And, um... If the mates haven't been killed, 
you can sometimes like get the toxicity to go away so you can actually see the mates but obviously I didn't solve my problem by sleeping just now because it's still too dark for me to see mates at the moment I guess this is really bad like this is not boating very well for me at the moment and I'm definitely gonna miss out on this challenge right now See, I thought one of the mates in this area was supposed to spawn right over here. But apparently I was wrong about that. Like, usually, two mates spawn in this area. One spawns over here. And the other one spawns, like, um... Somewhere over this way. But I don't know why the mates wouldn't show on the map, because, um... I don't know why the mates wouldn't show on the map. Because I can see animals right now on the map. Alright, let's see if there's a mate over this way. If not, I feel like the best thing I can do is head for the sewer. Maybe as Homo erectus mates don't spawn? I don't think that's the case though. That wouldn't they wouldn't do that. Alright, well I'm hungry, so I gotta go kill whatever's on the ground over here. And yep, there's my fail. Two marks seven times. Alright, you're dead! Sorry, chimpanzee. It's funny because I look a lot like a chimpanzee, but I am not. I've got enough sense to cover up my genitals. Alright, whatever. We're doing the sewer. That's what that's what's happening now. Even though oh shit, maybe I shouldn't do the sewers. Holy fuck, look at the wolves down here. And I've got lowered stats at the moment, which is not good. Alright, what do we got? What do we get? Hip hop bandana. Not exactly the best item. I should actually probably like equip gear right now since I'm doing so much fighting at the moment. Alright, there we go. Eat up that wolf. Eat him up. Alright, cool. So my best bet is probably not to mate down here actually, but to get to Shibuya Station and mate. Just because shit's going so badly for me at the moment. And oh shit, that's a panther. Holy fuck! The sewers are a very dangerous place! Oh, well... This fucking wolf saw me. Shit. Shitty McPiss fuck. The wolf knows where I am. Now I've got... There we go. Well, whatever. These animals are fighting amongst themselves. And while they do that, I'm gonna get away! Oh man, I really wish that um, sleeping had solved my mate problem like it did in that one episode. Where, if you were watching when I, like, my mate despawned or something, and then I slept and everything was good in the world. Oh, crap. Well, there's no way I'm gonna sneak up on this porky. Okay! Strike that. There is- oh, crap. Except for I fucked up. Whatever. I don't even care about my hunger meter. I really should care about my hunger meter, but... I am so, like, highly concerned at the moment with getting to an area that will be easy to mate in. And I- whoa! Crap! Are there more calling? Oh, crap! No, don't you dare call your family. I will kill you. I will murder you, Beagle, before I give you any chance to call your fam fam. Holy shit, I'm like boss rank with like a million calories in me. I like need to mate just to get all this goodness uh, transferred on to something else. Alright. Oh, dude, and guess what? I still have the, um,. Oh, fucking... Fucking had you dodge me, Beagle. I thought I waited for the thing, and yet somehow I didn't. Oh shit, he called more Beagles. Whatever. They're just Beagles, right? Dude, Beagles... I've, I've talked about this before. Beagles actually have reasonably good stats. Like, they're... nothing to be trifled with in this game. Oh! Alright, there we go. Killed all the Beagles. Eat them up real good. Too bad I didn't, um... Mark all these earlier. Alright, let's mark all the territory. What are my challenges? I should still be trying to focus on challenges right now. Find brand new smartphone billboard. I know where that is. Five clean kills and intake 4,000 calories. Alright. Well, I'll just kill everything. The 4,000 calories shouldn't be too tough at the moment because there's so much shit around to murder. Like these... These poor gazelles just waiting for the kill. Except for I only got one of them. Whatever. They're gonna run back this way. Oh, are they? Come on, run back this way. Run back this way, stupid gazelles. Oh, whatever. Oh, there we go. I knew they would run back this way eventually. I knew my plan would come to fruition. So 
except for not really, but there we go. Alright, there's a shit ton of gazelles just get in the grass. Oh. Yeah. Mm, let's mess with these rabbits before I mess with this horse. Whoop! There we go, and we'll get the other rabbit. Oh, what the fuck? Whatever. I'm still confident that everything's gonna run into the, uh, grass anyway. There we go. Whoa! Cool. Well, I'm getting plenty of calories. Dude, if I kill that horse, that would be a ton of calories. Maybe it's worth it even to gear up and try and go for the horse. Dude! Okay, so, I'm starting to think, looking at this, that this, um... Homo erectus might not be able to, um... Might not be able to mate. Like, it's starting to... Oh, I got it. Nice! Yeah, it's starting to look like Homo erectus might not be able to mate. Because... I've slept. I've unlocked a couple territories now. This is looking pretty in intense. I guess I should have looked this up before I started playing, but... Yeah. It's looking like Homo erectus, and it doesn't feel like my stats have gone down. Huh. Rabies has taken Yamanote Line West, okay. I guess that just means everything will attack. Hmm. This is very interesting. It is now beginning to look like... I'll try sleeping again just to be sure, but... I think that you may not be able to mate as Homo erectus. This is pretty bizarre. Alright. Sleep. Here we go. See what happens. Maybe I'll get some mates to appear. No, but I got some victims to appear. Alright, chickens. You must get sacrificed for the causes of evolution. Alright. Well, man, no mates appeared after I mated. I'm starting to think Homo erectus cannot mate, and if you look at all the challenges as they go up, it appears as though none of them are related to mating. I'm I'm pretty sure that Homo erectus can't mate. That is very interesting. Well, with that new discovery, I think it's time to put some cool clothes. Probably shouldn't be wearing a collar. Give him a nice uh, headphones. There we go. Um... Hip-hop shirt. Oh, that's still a pet shirt, though. Dude, it's, it's funny because all these clothes are still pet clothing. So, no matter what I put on him, it looks ridiculous. Can I put anything on him that looks even remotely regular? Yeah. No. Alright, whatever. Oh, and you can wear the kitty paws. That just looks ridiculous. Well, anyways, with that new discovery, I think that I am actually just going to end this episode because there's really... Um, nothing to look forward to in terms of mating, but I'm still going to try and do all the challenges in the next episode, but that's just crazy. I guess I should have looked that up before I kept going. So that's very interesting. So with that, look forward to see more Homo Erectus in the next episode. This has been Rakdar. Thank you for watching.